Some of you three, four, five, six times, depending on how many times you check Facebook on Tuesday. <laughs> that was uh, not really sure what happened, but uh, yeah, by the time all the administrators had their, their say, it was a very interesting day, but luckily we were able to change it to the exact same date that we started with on Monday morning. Thank goodness for committees, right? <laughs> Anyway, I promised the, the elementary fifth grade that I would start off the concert with something fabulous, something interesting, and something that nobody's ever seen before. Except that. Except for that, okay? And I'm not talking about my tie, even though <laughs> it is fabulous. Are you ready, Waco? Yeah. Yeah.
general and how great these students are. Today, today, um, obviously, you know, today was a plus one day. Today we had PD. I was really concerned on how I was going to get this set up. And you know what? Like almost all the time here at Club Waco, we had a group of students and a group of teachers that helped me out a great deal. I want to publicly thank um, Ann Weir, Linda Wilkerson, uh, Kathy Lee, and the volunteer group. They set all of this up. All I had to do was scribble some notes on a piece of paper, and they set it all up for me. So give them a big round of applause. This is by far my favorite concert of the year because you get to watch the band program grow. Okay? For those of you that like sports, you know what it's like to you know, watch a fifth and sixth grade basketball game, and they try so hard. And then you move up to a junior high basketball game, and there gets to be a few more points. You know, you have a little, little offense going on, occasionally even some defense. And then they make a big step up to, to, a high school, um, to high school play. Um, it's the same thing in the band world. It's the same thing in, in the choral world. It's the same. The best part of our job is watching young people improve and young people grow up. Okay? So think about those of you that are parents of the youngsters have heart. <laughs> They will improve. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like it now, but they will. And for those of you experienced parents who've been through this concert a time or two, try to say something nice to the fifth grade parents going, you know, because they're losing heart. They can only hear, you know, Pharaoh Rajaka so many times without actually ripping their hair out. As you can tell what happened to me when my daughter took up the clarinet. It was a rough year. So this is the junior high school band. These ladies and gentlemen behind me are excellent individuals, fantastic students, and in the continuum of, of improvement, they have made vast improvements from the first time I saw them in August. I'm so very proud of them. We have three numbers for you. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. I know for a fact that nearly every single one of you is literate, because I know several of you at least attended Waco, maybe not have graduated, but you attended for a while. So we are going to play three numbers for you. Uh, the last number is Korean Folk Song Medley. Do be black conscious scale, please.
here are uh, our trumpet players. They've been doing a phenomenal job. We've got uh, Sierra Gillis. We're so happy she's had. I'm just glad to see you here tonight. Yeah. Uh, then we've got Isaac McVeigh and Hallie Newman. Hey. I do that all the time. <laughs> Haley Newman. I know. Uh, but they're going to do their featured trumpets. Uh, the unique part about this is each one of the trumpets has their very own part, and you'll be able to hear each one. So they're, they're not playing, you know, all the same part. Each one has a different note, and it's been a challenge for them, but I think you'll like the results.
Senior Transition, if my good friend Audra Barnhart would come up and talk a little bit about the Music Boosters. Every music program needs a bunch of friends because we have a lot of work to get done. One person or even a small group of people, band directors, choir directors, especially if they have to be the same person, can't do it all by themselves. The Music Boosters are an integral part of the program and we have a very fine Music Booster program. Carry it away.
students that we played this year. Um, it's, it's a very challenging piece in all aspects, and in my humble opinion, they did an excellent job. So thank you, folks. The next piece is by one of my favorite composers, Jay Chataway. I, uh, Jay Chataway wrote the theme to the um, Star Wars, The Next Generation, that theme. Uh, and I've always loved his work. Uh, the second thing I love about James or Jay Chataway is that he wrote a work out uh, in Western themes. So this piece, Jamboree, is a Western theme piece, and so it just, I don't know, I just like it. So this is Jamboree. Thank you. 
ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming out and supporting live music. Um, obviously, you can tell I'm a big supporter of live music. I've been doing it all my life or, and de dedicated a good portion of my life to the education of these young people in the art of music. Music is very, very important, I think, in all aspects. And I can spend a whole lot of time telling you about it, and I would love that opportunity. But now is not the time. Thank you. Thank you for coming out and enjoying live music, and especially supporting some of the best students in the school. Not some. Supporting the best <laughs> students in the school. One of my philosophies of education is that these concerts for your children should be free. We fought a long time to become curricular, not extracurricular. The stuff that we do in the classroom is very, very important. It ties together all of the other disciplines in the school and puts them all together in one performance, in one class. My philosophy of education says that you should be able to see your students achieve without cost. That is my philosophy. And as long as I've been the choir or the band director, that is what I've done. For I have one story, many of you have heard it. It's a sad story about a kind of a nerdy little boy. He had glasses and he was undersized. And his father would never go to his band concerts because, I quote, I'm never going to pay money to go see my own kid play. So that kid grew up to be the tall, handsome man you see before you. <laughs> and I, uh, I never want any of my students to go through that. But don't get me wrong, my dad's a good man. And he always has been. But I'm not going to put my students through that. However, as my administration tells me day after day, time after time, music programs are expensive. And we are. Between some of the instruments, the music, um, my salary, which by the way is not the largest portion. <laughs> Tens of cents per hour. Anyway, so... <laughs> We do need money, and we need your support, but I don't want to force you to do it. We do have a donation bucket out there. If you can throw a dollar in, ten bucks, a hundred bucks, I don't care. It doesn't matter. The, the monetary number doesn't matter. It's that you are supporting your students. You are supporting arts in the school. And as I've said at every one of these concerts, the arts, ladies and gentlemen, are under attack. They're under attack in this country. And it's not right. We have the brightest, most creative kids. We have the most literate kids on the planet. And yet we're trying to take away the one thing that brings all that creativity together. That brings home the teamwork, the discipline, the things that we talk about in the band room and what Mr. Edeker talks about on the football field. Same, same. Doesn't matter. Discipline, responsibility, getting the job done, and teamwork. Those are the kind of employees you want. Those are the kind of people you want paying taxes in this town. And those are the kind of kids we're trying to raise in all of these activities. Sports, drama, music. Don't let them cut sports. Don't let them cut music. Don't let them cut drama. It's too darn important. As we close, we're going to do Normandy Beach March. It's a great little march. Thank you for coming out. If you have an extra moment, grab a chair, grab a stand, help us put this away, because I do not have that wonderful volunteerism group to help put it away. And quite frankly, I'm too old to do it by myself. <laughs> Thank you once again. Normandy Beach March.